Okay, now let us talk about scoop incremental import. So far we have seen different ways in which uh, we can import data into Hadoop as a one-time operation. So there might be scenarios where you need to keep the imported data on Hadoop to be synchronized with the source table which is present in relational database. And it's not optimal to re-import every time data is changed or appended. So with scoop incremental import, you can easily synchronize your data in Hadoop with that on relational database side. So for transferring this deltas of data, Scoop offers the ability to do incremental imports. Let us take one example. We have got a department table with three rows here, department ID 1, 2 and 3. Now this data is we are going to import in HDFS and here in HDFS we have got now three records. Now more department uh, table data is coming up and we have two more records in this table now. But now it is not synchronized with the HDFS records. So for making it synchronized, we need to re-import this data. Now re-importing all the data is really not optimal. So we are only importing the data which are added recently. That is called incremental loading. So loading, incremental loading means that we will be loading into warehouse the records that have changed since the last load as opposed to doing a full load of all the data into warehouse. So if you want to load this data on daily basis, you can use many alternatives. And one of you, one of that alternative is in, in that in scope import command, you can give this where parameter where you specify department ID greater than 3. Means only the records which are only the records which are have department ID greater than 3 will be imported. Another option is that you can use scoop incremental import that is uh, defined by Apache and herein you have to provide these three arguments with uh, import command. The three uh, arguments which you need to specify are check column, incremental mode and the last value. So what is check column? You need to specify the column name and that, uh, that column uh, will be examined when determining which rows to import. Then the incremental argument you have to specify some mode and the mode can be append or last modified. And then this specifies how scoop determines which rows are new. So append is basically used to uh, when data is inserted into the table and last modified is used when the data is updated in the table. Then the last value argument you have to provide the value and it specifies the maximum value of the check column from the previous import. Like we want to import data after department ID 3 so the last value will be 3. So the two modes uh, with incremental are append and last modified. Let us discuss them in detail. So there are two cases when you have additional records in the table and no updates on existing records and where there are updates in rows. So what happens when you have additional records in table and there are no updates? Then you use the incremental mode as append. So append in this scoop import command you will be providing three arguments check column, incremental and the last value. In check column you will be giving department ID because this is the column which, speci uh, which is specifying to be examined when determining which rows we are going to import. So we are importing on the basis of department ID. And the last value we will be providing will be on the basis of the department ID column. Last value is like we have said that department ID after we want to import records which are which have department ID greater than 3. So the last value which we are providing 3 is of department ID. ID which is given as check column. So incremental imports are used to rec uh, retrieve records uh, newer than the previously imported set of rows. So in append mode when in we need to import a table where new rows are continually being added with increasing row ID values. And scoop imports rows where the check column has a greater value than the one specified with the dash dash last value parameter. Now in this case where there are updates in rows, here with scoop import command again you need to specify these three parameters check column, incremental and the last value. Last modified works on timestamp data. So you use this when rows of the source table 
may be updated and each such update will set the value of a last modified column to the current timestamp. So rows where the check column holds a timestamp more recent than the timestamp specified with the last value, those will be imported. So the basic difference is clear that append mode and the last modified mode are the type of incremental modes which are used when according to a requirement that if we have additional records we use the append mode with incremental parameter and if we have updates in the rows then we use last modified with the incremental parameter. So in next lecture I will be telling you how to use scoop import uh, in Cloudera.